It is officially week one of the NFL season. The Browns have their 53-man roster set. It is time to get ready for the Titans, but let's take a look back real quickly. Our takeaways from the Browns' initial 53-man roster. Mary Kay, uh, what did you take away? Well, you know, I hate to say I <laughs> told you guys, but I did tell you guys that they were going to keep Jamie Gillen, uh, and ultimately they did. It was a big surprise, I think, to most people uh, that they kept him over Britton Colquitt. I think it's really cool. We just talked to him today. He was at the Flying Monkey. <laughs> the Scottish Hammer was at the Flying Monkey. There's so many good storylines here. The accent, the hair, the story, the rugby. It's just a perfect Cleveland Browns 2019 story. It's fun. It's exciting. I think Browns fans are going to love this guy. Uh, he pairs with Austin Seibert, a rookie kicker. Hopefully that they'll not have any uh, little foibles on a game-winning kick, but here we go. It should be exciting. Yeah, he said that uh, he was going to buy a round for everybody, but everybody started buying rounds for him. And you know, as long as he keeps holding okay and, and delivering in the punting game, uh, that's going to keep up. Scott, your biggest takeaway. Yeah, well, actually, two. Real quick, the defense really was largely what we expected. There really weren't many surprises, but I think tight end is something that stood out because we knew Njoku and Demetrius Harris were, were going to be your top two guys. Farrell Brown makes the team. Probably best known for his fight during training camp with Chan Thomas. He didn't have those flashes, I think, that a lot of people might have looked for. And then they bring in uh, Ricky Seals-Jones as, a, as a, a waiver claim. So now you go into the season with four tight ends. You still got Rico Gathers uh, suspended for the first game. So there could be more movement, but I, was, I guess I was kind of surprised that they, they do go in with four. And for me, it was the wide receiver group. We, we've talked about the depth of that group and, and how it was a little bit iffy, and they decided to make a trade. They bring in Taewon Taylor. Uh, they get Kaderil Hodge through waivers. So they added two new receivers this weekend. So it appears that John Dorsey and company were kind of in agreement that maybe the depth of the receiver chart, especially with Antonio Callaway suspended four games, maybe the depth of that group needed a boost. So they were aggressive there and went out and got those guys. All right, it is officially a game week. I know everybody's excited for Sunday, so make sure you check out cleveland.com slash browns for everything subscribe to football insider for our daily newsletter we'll have all sorts of stuff for you there as well